I'm Travis here with another video recording the My Singing Monsters trailer. Yes, I already know I made a My Singing Monsters video today, but whatever. And today we have a very special guest. It's my sister, who voice acted in eight. But has not no other videos. We're not going to show our face because that's just, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. Okay, so yeah, this is my sister. Very excited. I'm not going to say her name just in case yes. YouTube does something to me for it. <laughs> Except I'm not, um, nothing's actually happening on YouTube. Anyway, we're bad with me because because I'm a good YouTuber and I'm not verified and nothing actually really weird has happened and chat's going chat was going mad but um well they probably are still and I don't know what I'm doing and I have a kazoo in my hand and I'm gonna go Stop it. And I'm really okay. And I'm really excited. And it says the premiere is going to begin shortly. And it says eleven exclamation mark coming from my singing monsters. This might be. We hardly ever see the O in monsters, because Mama is always covering it in the picture. And it's all crazy. Oh, and hey, look, it's an advert. Oh. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to show adverts on YouTube. But I'm gonna upload it anyway because I'm not verified and YouTube can't Live sue me for it. Why are they gonna the sue me? Eight, eight pounds? Three. Oh my god! I hate adverts! School is about to start. Get ready advert? with Jump Shows and jump into this year with fun. Yeah, and that unskippable. Discover the collection. One time I got two thirty seconds unskippable adverts. I know it sounds impossible, but I did. Jumps. Anyway, Geox, is this meant to be a ripoff of eBay? Oh, look at that! It's already a minute left. Oh my god! That sounds like very fake confusing. This is fine. We are recording, right? I'm, I'm just... Yeah, we are recording. We are live. The microphone is on. I hope. Because if it isn't, that is going to be very sad. But let me just. I'm going to edit this part of the video. Um, I'm not check at this part of the video at 40 seconds. I'm going to do a massive two kilometer zoom. Helpers, it's Hi, me, Matt. Monster Handler Matt. Hi, Matt. On behalf of all Hi, of the Matt. Monster Handlers here at Big Blue Bubble, we would like to extend oh, our God. profound appreciation and gratitude to you for joining us on this exciting 12-month journey that has been our anniversary oh, year. Yeah. It's been a busy time in the monster world. New seasonal events and skins, ultimate creator has. experience mythicals, yeah. colossal conundra, rare wobblins, yeah. finishing Amber Island, epic evolutions of the Crucible, theories on the call single, celestial section. <laughs> And we've saved some extra special content for the big finale during September's anniversary month in version 4.0, arriving yes! on app stores next week. Yes! But before we begin, a few notes. The first thing you'll notice about version 4.0 is that we are using <gasps> glorious new typefaces for all of our in-game interface and text elements. <gasps> you first got a sneak peek during our mind boggle trailer. What? We were due for a facelift and we took the opportunity to select fonts that will improve accessibility for players with dyslexia and the overall legibility of in-game oh, text good. in all of our supported languages. Speaking of languages, you can now change the game language directly from the options menu. Handy, huh? Unfortunately, no matter what language your game is set to, it still won't help Monster Handler Tyson be able to pronounce Stablo Miegricha. I heard that. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Okay, okay, now that we've Stop got that stuff out of the way, we can really dig in. Let's hear a special report from Monster Handler Alley, host okay. of the Exploratory Compendium oh, yeah. of Monstrology series, you on one of the most amazing discoveries in the history the of the monster story. world. On one of my recent exchange Hello. visits to the monster world, hey. I somehow gained access to the higher plane, Angled Island, <gasps> and what I saw while I was there 
blew my mind. <gasps> for the first time, a level 15 epic wall box for one of the natural islands can be placed on Gold Island. Just like other wall box, it will revert to its powered down box form, but not a box form we've ever seen before. To power up this entity, you'll have to progressively unlock each elemental phase in order. Plant, what? cold, air, water, and earth. Epic monsters are extremely hard to come by, so this means that you'll be able to hear its song and witness its stunning transformation sooner. As more elemental phases are unlocked, the epic wall box will add what? more and more musical parts to the Gold Island song, That's but it's not so the only one. The seasonal jamboree can now be placed from seasonal shanty at level 15 on Gold Island. Oh it was only fitting that this monster get a chance to perform alongside the balloons, confetti, and pageantry of the island's anniversary month seasonal island skin. And that's not all! The brand new Epic Jamboree Epic is available Jamboree! to buy or breed for a limited time near the beginning and end of anniversary month. As someone who loves to record my adventures in my journals, something I really appreciate about the 4.0 update is that oh Gold God. Island is getting a Book of Monsters page. Or should I say, pages. Since there are so pages? many monsters available to be placed on Gold Island, it has been divided in sub-pages that track your common, rare, and epic collections. Not to be outdone, the Gold Island's higher plane counterpart, Amber Island, will be following the same book of monster Ooh. format moving forward. Thanks, Monster Handler Alley. Hey guys, it's me, Monster Handler Charlie, oh. host of Monster Mythos. Yeah. And oh, on the topic goodness. of mythos and myths, what's this I hear about a new <gasps> mythical monster? Oh. One that the Fire. Handler Helper oh. community oh. helped design? Yes. Bah. I see it, I see it. Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my jeez! <gasps> The new Go! mythical Bazinga, Bazinga will soon be buzzing on both Firehaven and Mythical Island. Per your votes in our Make a Mythical poll, this monster makes music using its anatomy, <gasps> is an insectoid, and joins Humbug and Fungprey as part of the new drone sex <gasps> family. Not only that, it blends in with its surroundings and is asymmetrical. Now. The go with the flow bazinga is actually very important not just to the monster world, but to the entire Big Blue Bubble multiverse. In that, it acts as a pollinator for the world tree's flowers and helps create whole new dimensions. There you have it. Now you can stop wow. bugging us about releasing it. Get it? Bugging? Because it's a bug? Bad. Never mind. What about Bazinga's dream mythical, you might ask? That's a mystery we're keeping under wraps until the update itself. Up next, Monster Handler Ben. Yes. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. I was oh, too busy ben. living my best life. Listening to the full version of the DJ Epic Celestial Island remix and the brand new Mythical Island remix, featuring the full composition with all 15 monsters, a year in the making. These will debut on all major streaming platforms later in Anniversary Month. Me? Yes! Stop. I get to enjoy them now. Why? Because I'm a monster handler, that's why. Yeah. Another music-related point of interest in the mobile version of Ooh. Update 4.0 is that you can now clear your recording studio recordings on a per-island basis. Yes, Before, you, you could only delete them though. all at once. Yeah. Maybe you've made an absolute masterpiece on your plant island. Um, or whatever that is. Like but you want a clean slate on your cold island. 4.0 will let you do that. Simply tap on Recording Studio on Cold Island and select Clear, and your Plant Island composition remains untouched. Music to my ears. My time is up. Monster Handler Jen, what you got? Okay, let's go, Monster Handler Jen. Hey, Hello. Hello. Monster Hello. Handler Jen here to announce an exciting multi-part community challenge for Anniversary Month called Dropping Names. Over the course of Anniversary Year, you've gotten to know a little more about the backstories of the colossal island spirits that inhabit the natural islands by completing the colossal conundra. However, a mystery endures. What are their names? That's where you come in. Each week, we'll be posting three name options for the Natural Island Colossals, and your votes will help to determine which one will be the official canon name, the power of democracy. The first of these polls will be going live on the game's official birthday on Monday, September 4th. We can't Yay! wait to start dropping names. Hello, Wendler Helpers, it's me, Monster Handler Tyson, and Hello. wow, Hello. we have covered a lot the in this kickoff video, and we I'm haven't even it. talked about the New special Island. promotions and offers that will be running all of Anniversary Month. Though I still feel like we are forgetting something. Feels like this happened huh. <laughs> just a few What days could ago. it be? The Tyson, oh. you're back. The Plant Colossal just granted me a vision of something amazing. I don't <laughs> think it's going to be ready for a few months, but 
You had to see it. It was. Snap out of it! Snap out of it! Of course, the map. That was the vision I had back in December. We originally planned to reveal a new and improved map during anniversary. This map. feature is still in development by our Monster Handler team because we want it to be the very best it can be. But I can share some in progress behind the scenes alpha footage. First of all, I have news. For the first time ever, I can officially reveal that the monster world is not a globe. What? It's a Taurus. A, a donut. It's, it's a donut. This unusual planet shape has been theorized as possible in the human world, but has never actually been observed. Notably, the monster world has not always donut. been this shape. This is specifically the post Donna fire era, after the breakup of the prehistoric continent shook the very foundations of the monster world down to its core. This has been hinted at and planned for a while, from the design of the current carousel to this. Check this out. No, this can't be happening. I had my seasonal shanty decorated exactly how I wanted it. Why? Why? No! Our monster handler cartographers and spirit have worked hard to reconcile the existing maps across the years with this, this newfound knowledge and have come up with I a flattened Taurus map that displays Maybe the positions of all well, known islands cool in the monster world. Players will be able to navigate around the hand-drawn map and explore the connections between the various islands like never before. You can explore the monster world by pinching to zoom, swiping, or dragging the mouse, or you can use the scrolling sidebar to highlight a specific island. When an island is highlighted, important information like beds occupied and a more detailed breakdown of your collection progress in the Book of Monsters is displayed. We also plan to include greater visibility for active seasonal events. These features and details are subject to change and review, but we are very excited to be able to give you a first look of the new and improved map menu. There you go, there's your 4.0 kickoff video. We can't oh, wait no for you to explore all the new features and monsters in next week's update. Well, and as per usual, here. we have a few more tricks up our sleeves over the course of September. Thank you so much for joining us on this amazing 11 year adventure to yeah. breed, feed, and listen to them sing. We couldn't have done it without you. Happy monstering! Happy monstering! 4.0. Early September. Yes. New Island. Come on, please. Teaser? Teaser? No. New Island? What? No new island. What? Handlers here at Big Blue Bubble, we would like to extend our profound appreciation. No. Oh man, I mean that sucks, but oh well. I guess I have nothing else to say except for bye. bye. I, I guess. guess. Uh, yeah. This is very sad, you guys. I, this sucks. I'm going to go to bed. 